just because they're called the same thing, automatic transmission fluids are not all the same. Most OEMs use different proprietary blends that include additives for their transmissions these days, so it's no doubt many drivers and professionals are confused about which type of fluid is required for a vehicle. ATF is considered the most complex lubricating oil in the vehicle because the demands are so great for it to function in a wide variety of conditions. It's used for lubrication, warming, cooling, hydraulic actuation, turbine flow, as well as a bath for the friction material and the electronics. The fluid has a hard life, but with regular servicing, the transmission will last for many thousands of miles with few issues. Transmissions have evolved from three on the tree to four on the floor to today's eight, nine, or even 10 speeds. Think they all still use the same fluid? Not a chance. Due to the complexity of today's automatic transmissions, OEMs use a laundry list of specialty additives that can make up to 25% of the total fluid fill. Additives that are used include dispersants, antioxidants, anti-wear, friction modifiers, corrosion inhibitors, seal swell agents, viscosity improvers, pore point depressants, foam inhibitors, and red dye to identify it as an ATF. Each one plays a critical role in maintaining the various components in the transmission, but the amount and blend varies for each transmission and even from manufacturer to manufacturer. Today, there are more than a dozen types of ATF, so it's important to look up the vehicle's specific fluid requirements. The continuously variable transmission is becoming more common. CVTs are fuel efficient, but require yet another type of fluid to keep them going, which is more similar to a thick motor oil than a lightweight ATF. This type of fluid is not recommended for use in conventional automatic transmissions or hybrid CVT units. Over time, the seals inside an automatic transmission can become hard and brittle and lose their sealing qualities. A seal swell agent is added to keep the seals from becoming brittle. Today's multi-speed transmissions have longer service intervals than older types of transmissions, with recommended service ranges from 60,000 to 100,000 miles. Changing it more often won't cause any harm and can even help signal trouble ahead. If there's grit in the transmission fluid, it could be small metal shavings that have worn off the gears and clutches inside. If the vehicle has difficulty shifting gears, there's a good possibility that the fluid is beyond the useful life. Dirt, gunk, and metal can get into the fluid and cause it to have a sluggish response when shifting, or the shifts may be erratic. Other symptoms can include surging, slipping, and overheating. These signs can give way to total transmission failure if the fluid isn't flushed and refilled with a quality, application-specific ATF. When transmission fluid is low, it can become oxidized or burnt or dirty and can also create shifting problems. If the filter is clogged, it can lead to hard, uneven shifts, but a fluid and filter change will usually correct this issue. Shuttering is a common transmission complaint a loss of fluid pressure typically is the cause because the ATF also acts as a hydraulic fluid. In this situation, your customer should check the pan for debris or signs of wear that may signal other problems. And of course, your customers always should follow the manufacturer's recommendations for transmission service specifications. Thanks for watching.